and it's finally that time. It's time to do another model car. So, welcome to this model car Monday. So, today we have this 2006 to, uh, Mercedes SLR McLaren. Now, you guys might realize who created the SLR McLaren? Was it created by Mercedes? Was it created by McLaren? Well, it was mostly uh, it was mostly created by McLaren and McLaren and Mercedes a deal. So they asked if we could borrow one of their sports cars. And this came out when the Porsche Carrera GT and the Enzo were out. The Enzo costs one point three million dollars right now. The Carrera GT is probably half. It's probably lower than the Enzo, about one one point one million. And these go around. Now these are kind of cheap now. These go around for like two two hundred twenty thousand twenty twenty uh, thirty thirty hundred thousand. So let's get started. As you can see first, you have the exhaust. Now you see the exhaust is on the side. Because I guess they just wanted to do it like that. And it's a great design. Next, you have the wheels. With the Mercedes badge on the wheel. With awesome tires. And the silver brake counter which just makes the car really nice and stands out. Then you have the in intakes. Oh, uh, you have the intakes over here with this silver plastic thing. Now, the doors do open, but they open like this. Just like a McLaren P1 or just like a McLaren P1 would open, right? Inside the car, you have the Mercedes bag, you have the Mercedes steering wheel, the SLR in the front center, and then you have the, um, it's an automatic. Then you have the hazard, the air, the air, uh, um, air conditioning. Over here, you have the, as you can see, there is the door handle, and you're surprised that it's not, get over here, it's not on the door. So it's literally down there, and your um, seat, your um, seat, sorry. It is a beautiful car. On the back of the car, we have... The SLR, Mercedes SLR 2006, with these awesome headlights, I mean taillights, excuse me, taillights. Now, if you guys ever see a SLR in real life, and you see their ha and you see their turn signals on, it would only face this way. If you come over here, it's, you can't see it at all if the turn signal was on. That's, that's a good thing to have, so the person knows when you're turning and you know in the back of you this is the spoiler well the air brake the air brake is when you stop and this thing goes up now it does not go up but on the real SLR this thing would go up uh, this thing would go up and there is actually a thing in the center console where you have it can, you could just leave it up you can have it like this, or you can either do test. And what test does is when the air brake would go right up, like you're going to hardly brake on a hardly brake. And then it would go right back down. So just to make sure it was working. Here is the trunk. It's kind of black, but um, it's a, it's a pretty good trunk size. You could throw a couple bags in there, go down for the, go down for the weekend with the wife. Come to the other side. 
SLR on the bottom. Uh, there's the air, uh, there's the emergency brake glove apartment. And this is all covered in carbon fiber. Also the seats. You really can't see it, but there you go. See the black part back there? It's carbon, it's car, it's carbon fiber. And this leather is a little darker than you see right now, but um, I love the red leather. Now, the front of the car, you have the awesome headlights, the Mercedes badge, the undergrad grill, and then the most awesomest part on the SLR is the hood. This hood is amazing. You have SLR, Mercedes, the Mercedes badge in red over there. Uh, it's a really great engine, man. Uh, this engine is probably the one, the greatest engines I ever seen. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.